。好，二零一三年題目咧就有關於一個活動關節嘅，咁而家睇翻幅圖啦，係一個關節嘅圖片啦，咁有肌肉楞住個骨頭，亦都有另一個結構將兩個骨頭連結住嘅，咁都俾咗一幅有顏色嘅圖，你哋去分別翻唔同類型嘅結構啦。咁成條題目考我哋乜嘢咧？第一就係、是、成個關節有啲咩嘅結構啦，第二啦一啲關節有冇啲咩例子啦。同埋啦，同關節相關嘅結構，佢哋有啲咩嘅功能呢 p a r t A 啦，就問翻我哋啦，呢一款關節究竟係邊一類型嘅關節？同埋啦，講一款例子俾我哋聽。咁啊，書本呢，我哋有兩款例子啦，係學咗嘅。一款呢，就係教練關節，另一款呢，就係球窩關節。咁呢個好明顯啦，就係教練關節。而例子呢，就係我哋嘅膝關節同埋我哋手踭嘅關節啦。而 Part B 啦，就要我哋描述一下 A 同 B 呢兩個結構呢。佢哋點樣一齊合作去導致到有一個活動有一個喐動出現嘅咁既然有結構啦，好似 M C 咁樣呢，做返一個好習慣先啦。A 呢係我哋嘅韌帶 ，B 呢就係我哋嘅肌腱。咁其實點解會知道啊？因為呢，肌腱就係將肌肉楞到去骨頭嘅，而韌帶呢就係將骨頭呢去連結住嘅。嗱，呢啲基本邏輯呢，大家一定要知得到㗎啦。咁而家呢，佢就問我哋點樣一齊合作啊嘛？咁其實成個關節呢，就係騰韌呱呱韌騰啦。首先啲骨頭要。黐住對方啦，然後再有肌肉再黐住啲骨頭，咁所以呢條題目咧都非常之直白噶啦。韌帶咧就係將骨頭連結埋一齊，就避免喺活動嘅過程當中咧就係甩臼。當然佢唔係一個最佳嘅答案啦，我覺得最佳嘅答案咧應該係講緊韌帶係由於有彈性，而係容許個關節有一個相當程度嘅喐動。咁先能夠 bring about 個 movement 㗎嘛？好，而去到肌腱呢，就係、是、將個肌肉附咗喺個骨頭上面，就 attach muscle to the bones 啦。佢就可以將肌肉收縮所產生嘅拉力呢，就傳送去到個骨頭嗰處啦。呢、這個答案呢，兩 Sir 都唔係話咁鍾意嘅。咁啊，因為呢，佢真係真咁個 effectively 呢個字啊，因為肌腱係冇彈性，所以佢能夠將肌肉收縮所產生嘅拉力呢，就係、是、有效地傳送去到個骨頭嗰處。咁呢個題目啦，有啲咩嘅變奏呢？今次兩 Sir 想講嘅呢，就係佢其實係可以由一條短題目變成一條寫文嘅題目嘅。首先啊，佢要你比較下教練關節同埋球窩關節究竟有啲咩嘅分別啊？從佢哋呢喐動嘅程度啊，或者喐動嘅方向去做個理解。咁去到第二啦，就係韌帶同埋肌腱究竟有咩嘅分別呢？原來呢，韌帶呢就係有彈性。而肌腱咧就係冇彈性，佢哋兩者一齊合作啦，究竟有咩嘅適應性特徵呢？咁啊，本身呢一條嘅四分啦，加埋韌帶同埋肌腱本身嘅特性啦，再加埋關節嘅分別啦，其實就係一條 S 字嚟噶啦。之後嚟到一點出發啦，咁成條題目咧就由活動關節去開始嘅，跟住啦就問翻肌腱同埋韌帶嘅一啲功能啦，而最重要嘅當然係問我哋嘅 adaptive features 啦，喺個概念上面做咗啲咩嘅延伸咧？對於肌腱咧係將個肌肉附咗。个骨头上面，咁所以我哋自不然要提下 skeletal muscle 骨骼肌啦。当中我哋都有学过嘅就系屈肌同埋伸肌，咁啊提起屈肌同埋伸肌啦，咁啊记得翻佢哋系一齐做嘢，系一对对咁做嘢嘅。例如我哋嘅二头肌同埋三头肌，当一嚿肌肉收缩嘅时候，另一个肌肉就会放松。呢、这个概念咧就叫做 antagonistic muscle 结抗肌，即系例如啦，当屈肌收缩嘅时候咧，伸肌就会放松。反翻转啦，当伸肌系收缩嘅时候咧，屈肌咧就会放松。Question two is about the movable joint. So you can see from the diagram, we can see a joint, and the muscle is attaching to the bones and other structure connecting the bones together. What is the concept checking? We need to recall the structures of the joint and recall the type and example of the joint. And also, we need to recall the function of the structures of the joint. So for question A, we need to name the type of the joint and suggest an example of such joint in our body. In the curriculum, we learn two types of joint. One type is hinge joint, the other type is bow and shortcut joint. So this type, it must be a hinge joint, and the example is the knee joint and the elbow joint. And for part B, it's very straightforward question. Briefly, describe how structure A and B work together to bring about the movement at the joint. So we need to do the labeling first. Structure A is the ligament joining the bones together, and for the structure B is the tendon attaching the muscle to the bones. So how can they work together? Is a very straightforward question because from the textbook we can really recall the concepts directly. The ligament binds bones together and prevents dislocation of bones during movement. For this part of the answer, I'm not that satisfied because for the ligament, if it helps to work. Actually, we need to mention that ligaments are tough and elastic. Ligaments allow a certain degree of movement at the joint. 
So that's the way to bring about the joint. The structure B tendon attaches muscle to the bones and transmit the pulling force produced by the muscle contraction. And I'm not that satisfied for this answer as well, because for the answer key, it should also include the terms effectively, because it's really the adaptive features of the tendon. So any possible question variation, this time I would like to talk about how can I change this short question to be an essay. Firstly, we need to contrast the hinge joint and the ball and soccer joint in terms of the degree of the direction of the movement. Secondly, we need to contrast the structure A and structure B. Which one is elastic and which one is inelastic? We need to name it and actually what is the function? And of course, finally, we need to recall the adaptive features. We need to recall the importance for the ligament to be elastic. And for the tendon, why it is so important for them to be inelastic. And for the curricular mapping, this question, it starts from the movable joint and it tells us about the tendon and the ligament. And then we can extend the concept to the adaptive features. And for the tendon, because it's the structure to attach the muscles to the bones, so that's why we can talk about the skeletal muscles. We learn some of them, biceps, triceps. We can divide the skeletal muscles into two groups. One is flexor and the other is the extensor. And these two types of muscle work together to be the antagonistic muscle. When the flexor contracts, the extensor will relax. When the extensor contracts, the flexor will relax. So they are working in an opposite manner. 